protected ocean, a vast blue expanse critical to life on Earth. And there's no better animal to represent the story of the ocean with all its splendor and uncertainty than the killer whale, or as it's scientifically known, the Orsinus orca. The orca lives in every corner of the ocean, from the Arctic to the Atlantic, the Southern to the Indian, to the mighty Pacific and beyond. This whale's story is the ocean's story, and it is one we all share. Costa Rica. In fact, there are at least 10 types or ecotypes of killer whales. An ecotype describes the differences between killer whale size, physical form, prey, social structure, and habitat. As you can see, the differences are subtle but noticeable when compared side by side. Orcas are adapted perfectly to their environments. And even the whale's black and white coloration has a purpose. It camouflages the outline of their bodies in the water, making it easier for them to surprise and catch their prey. of the ocean. When viewed from below, the orca's white bellies match the brighter surface of the water, blending with the light above, giving them the perfect camouflage.
The flipper on either side of the wheel are the pectoral flippers, which are mainly used for steering and stopping. There are five finger like bone structures within each of them that look similar to the human hand. The lobes on either side of the tail are their tail flukes. This is the killer whale's engine. It can propel them to speeds of 30 miles per hour. That is as fast as some of our speedboats. They swim the fastest and use the most power when propelling their nearly 10,000 pound bodies all the way up and on the water. social animals with a well-defined social structure. The orca product is always led by the female. Though just half the size of her male counterpart, she is in charge. It's all about attitude, not size. Because they live and work as a group, orcas need to communicate with sounds and body language. Orcas use clicks for echolocation or navigation. Whistles to socialize in the pond. And calls for group coordination and hunting. Development studies here at SeaWorld show that early on, calves learn vocalization from their mothers. But as they grow, they learn from others close to them as well. This is a bottlenose dolphin call that Shuba learned and even taught other killer whales here at SeaWorld. In fact, orcas are the largest members of the dolphin family. Whales here and in the wild use vocalization to communicate all the time. Like all animals, killer whales use body language as a form of communication. They use pectoral slaps on the surface of the water to show dominance and to get noticed. For example, a mother might use a peck slap to get the attention of her calf. Pursue and catch their prey. 
every day they go to survive in the revolutions of the world. The orca's hunting techniques are as varied as the whales themselves. Norwegian